Hi guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today guys we're going to be reviewing the 87 rated player moments Mohamed Durami from Copenhagen in the Danish league. He was able to earn this card uh, by winning the stay and play at home cup which is like a massive uh, event that EA did do. I think it was like last week. Um, he actually won it. I can't remember who he beat in the final um, but even so EA have kind of like recognized, uh, given like some recognition for this and give him a really cool SPC. And what's also interesting is his base card I believe was only 57 rated so he's been given a massive increase and whilst he's going to get like a freestyle weak foot some of his stats are absolutely insane he cost me around about 15,000 coins to do his SPC in the three games that I played with him he scored me 10 goals and got me one assist he's also got a four star skill as well as freestyle weak foot getting into his in-game stats his main stats, stats will be his 93 positioning his 99 balance as well as his 99 agility and finally his 92 shot power and I did also have the Hulk chem style I applied to this Durami card and uh, I was in Division 5 whilst playing these matches. Let me just make sure my mic is on mute and for once it actually isn't, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, this card is fantastic. You know, for me, he just, uh, he clicked from the word go. Absolutely fantastic. And obviously, you know, the good thing with me is I was able to fit him into my main team um, surrounded by icons, which was fantastic. I mean, you can link him in, of course, with Loud Drop uh, from, from Icon Swaps if you got him from there. Maybe Christian Eriksen's uh, Winter Refresh card. So you can link him in um, relatively... You know, not easily, but he's not like the most impossible player to fit into it. You know, into a team in the world. But um, for me, his first ball had to be his pace. Fantastic, he is so quick. 92 overall pace. I had the whole cams that applied to him, so it takes his acceleration from 93 to 98, and it takes his sprint speed from 90 to 95. Combining that with 96 dribbling and 99 agility as well as 99 balance makes him feel rapid. He outpaces everyone like honestly the amount of times he'd be able to get himself into one-on-one -on -one chances where he just beats the defenders and there's just no one left around him and he got into one-on-one -on -one opportunities was unbelievable i can't recall a player that i've used recently that was able to create so many or i was able to create so many good one-on-one -on -one chances for him because he'd make good runs and stuff like that it was just fantastic the space that he could create for himself just you know, not by you controlling him, just by him making good runs, uh, you know, through the defences and stuff. You pass the ball to him, he's through. He's going to outpace everyone. It's fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. I was so happy with his pace, you know, and you can afford to pace if you him because he's got 83 stamina, which is fine, so he's not going to get that tired either, which is obviously really good. His finish will be a second pro, 10 goals in three games. And I was coming up against some decent players. I come up against a team in the moments, Messi. I came up against uh, a guy with a few icons, I believe, as well, in one of his teams. Um... Came up against some really, really good players. And I think I won every game, or I think I drew one and maybe won two games or something. But um, he's deadly in front of goal. He's got three-star weak foot. Felt like it was a four-star, at least. I think there were maybe maybe one or two chances where I tried to go with a low-driven shot, which I'm doing a lot of recently, the low-driven shot, and I'm finding it very, very effective. Uh, I'm swinging like a lot. I'm finishing a lot more chances by doing it. Uh, and, and sometimes when I did that, some of his chances would go, um, you know, off targets. But I think that was just down to me not being like uh, clinical enough with my aiming. I don't think his weak foot was bad at all. A three-star weak foot isn't great for this stage of FIFA. It's not the end of the world, but it's not fantastic. It's far from fantastic. But it didn't feel like he had a three-star weak foot at all. He was scoring with his left goal, uh, with his left foot, he was scoring with his right foot. I remember there was one clip where I do a quick little fake shot inside the box, like the edge of the box. Left foot finesse right past the goalkeeper. It was a beautiful goal. And that was on his weak foot. That was on his weak foot. It was a fantastic finish. You'll see one of those clips. Uh, and I think he might have scored maybe a couple of other goals as well with his left foot. But um, yeah, his clinical 96, uh, sorry, 93 position, which goes up to 99. His position goes from 92 to 97. His shot power goes from 97 up to 99. Quality. Couldn't fault it. Didn't put a foot wrong there at all. And his dribbling, again, superb. 99 agility, 99 balance. Um, nice ball control coming at 86. Superb. Dribbling at 96 as well. Sorry, 86 for the dribbling and 96. For 86 for the ball control and 96 for the dribbling. Reactions at 70. Didn't find a problem with that whatsoever. Composure at 70. Again, I don't really think it affected him too much. I think if his composure would have been that much of an issue, he wouldn't have scored 10 goals in three games. I, I don't think he would have anyway. So I, I, I don't think his composure was an issue at all. Um... And, and that will be an end to the process. His pace, his finishing, his dribbling class. He does link up relatively well with the other players. He got me one assist in the three games. He's got 85 vision, 80 short passing. He can link up and and, uh, and make passes between 
whether it be Crespo, um, Gattuso, who was playing uh, just in front of, uh, Johan Cruyff and stuff as well. You know, he can link up with those, um, which is obviously very nice. His strength at 86 didn't really get to use that too much. It's a shame that he doesn't have any traits to the card, but it's at the end of the world. On the whole, I couldn't fault him. I think it's an SPC that I'd thoroughly, thoroughly recommend a lot of people doing. In fact, pretty much everyone doing it. I think it's a really, really cool card. Fits what you want from this game. He's got the stats that you need for a really, really good striker. I don't think you should let those reactions and composure put you off and also his freestyle week four. I don't think that should put you off. I honestly would recommend you guys doing this because I had a lot of fun with him. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to continue to use him a little, a little bit longer because I was really, really happy with this card. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys later.